You decide 2012 and Mitt Romney is making his mark in his home state of Michigan. The Republican presidential candidate was in Monroe this morning at National Galvanizing, a steel supplier, where he spoke with leaders in the state about important issues to them and listened to their suggestions about how to make America better. It's the middle class that's been just crushed by the Obama economy, and I'm going to help the middle class get good jobs again. Romney says he is not a career politician. He's a business guy who wants to be president so that he can make Ohio and Michigan more attractive places for entrepreneurs. Now, Romney says that President Obama is doing almost everything wrong as president. He explains why in a conversation this morning with Fox Toledo's Katie Thompson. First of all, thank you for sitting down with us today. And in Ohio, Michigan, polls are pretty close right now. How important is it for you to win Ohio and Michigan? Well, Ohio and Michigan have a lot of delegates, and I want to become the nominee. So you'll, you'll be seeing me spending a lot of time in Michigan and Ohio, uh, doing my very best to get the support I need. I, I was delighted to have that support when I ran four years ago. I think now more than ever, people want to have a candidate who understands how the economy works. And I spent my life in the private sector. I want to use that experience to get people back to work. And speaking of the economy, Ohio and Michigan have lost a lot of jobs. How can you bring jobs back to these states? We've got to make Ohio and Michigan the best places in the world for job creators, for innovators, for pioneers, and therefore to get jobs to come back. And there are ways to do that. Unfortunately, the president has made it very unattractive in America to build a business and to grow a business. What I would do, I'd get regulators to recognize that they should encourage business, not just try and slow it down and crush it. Number two, I'd crack down on China. They've been stealing our jobs. We've been letting them run all over this country. That's the wrong thing. Number three, we should open up new markets so that we can sell products from America around the world. Number four, we should make sure that our tax rates are competitive with other nations. Right now, our employers pay the highest taxes in the world, so they tend to want to go to other places. And uh, finally, I, I want to make sure that America balances our budget. We can't keep on spending more than we take in, or businesses will be frightened that the dollar won't be worth anything in the future. This is what we've got to do to, to take advantage of the great resources we have in this country to get our economy going again and to see rising wages again. Okay, and a big part of the economy in Ohio, Michigan, is the auto industry. The auto bailout, how do you feel about the auto bailout, especially now that in Toledo, I know we've added over 1,100 jobs at our Chrysler uh, facility there. How do you feel about the auto bailout? You know, I'm delighted that the auto industry is back on its feet and, uh, and gaining jobs. That's terrific news. Early on, you may recall, the, uh, the companies uh, as well as the White House and Labor said, look, we can't go through a bankruptcy process. I argued you need to go through a managed bankruptcy. After about six months, they came around to, to my way of thinking, went through a managed bankruptcy and are back on their feet. So I'm pleased that it's, uh, it's come back. I wouldn't have given to the, the companies to the UAW bosses. I think that was a mistake. But, uh, but the, the fact that we've got, gone through bankruptcy and they've come out stronger, that's a good thing. And what are your views on unions? Uh, you know, unions can provide a very important role in our economy. Uh, in, in many cases, like the Carpenters Union, they provide great skills to the, uh, to the union members. At the same time, union bosses can have a very different agenda than union workers. And so when union bosses, for instance, take money out of people's paychecks to go into a political fund that the union worker may or may not agree with, that I think is a mistake. I'm in favor of right to work legislation, which allows people to decide if they want to be in a union or not. In my view, forcing people to join a union when they don't want to is a mistake. And let's talk about President Obama. What do you think he's doing wrong as the president? Well, I think President Obama is doing almost everything wrong. Not everything, but almost everything wrong. Uh, one, raising taxes on individuals and businesses makes it less likely that we'll see more job growth. Number two, his regulations have made it almost impossible to take advantage of our energy resources in this country. It's made it hard to get coal, oil, natural gas, of course nuclear. That doesn't help the American economy. Number three, he hasn't cracked down on China. They keep on stealing our designs, our patents, our know-how. They've uh, st stolen jobs across the country. Th that's something he should have done a long time ago. And then you look internationally. He's failed with regards to Iran. They're developing nuclear weaponry. Uh, this president is not putting crippling sanctions. He did not stand up with the people of Iran that were uh, dis uh, dissidents standing in the streets and uh, hasn't put together military options uh, to dissuade Iran from their nuclear folly. Finally, really quick, why should people vote for you? You know, as people look at the different folks running for president, uh, I'm kind of an unusual uh, 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 character here because I didn't spend my life in politics. 
the other guys have spent all their life in Washington working as lobbyists or working as politicians. I spent my life in the private sector. I know how jobs come and go. I know what it takes to get Michigan and Ohio working again because I've been in the real economy. I've had a job. I think it helps to have had a job to know how to create jobs. And so I, I'm unusual in that aspect. I'm a conservative. I'm a conservative businessman who's proven my conservative chops both as a business person, as a guy who helped turn around the Olympics, and as a guy who got a state back on financial footing by cutting the taxes of my state 19 times, balancing the budget every year. I think that kind of record is what Americans are looking for. Thank you so much for speaking with us today. Thanks, Katie. It. Thanks. Good to be with you. I thought that he had the exact right message for what this country needs. We need to get jobs, and I think he has the answer to get jobs. And that's why I think that Mitt would, is the right man for this for the job of president, because he brings that business perspective, and he knows how to balance that budget, knows how to create jobs, and really it's, it's all about jobs. I am one of the independents, like I'm the one in between, and so it's good to come out here and listen to what he has to say, and you take a lot of things to heart, and you know, you kind of take what he has to say and assess it and, you know, go ahead and make the decision on February 28th. Here's some of the reaction from the crowd inside Galvanized Manufacturing today. Jobs clearly the most important topic and bringing those jobs back to Michigan will be key for the economy because that state has lost a million jobs in the last 10 years.